For this next example, we're going to start consuming messages by and creating a subscription. So here I have a thousand messages a second we're producing. Let's hop on over to Grafana. Here I am in the broker dashboard. Ignore all of this. This is testing I was doing earlier just before this exercise. But here you can see that we're publishing messages at a thousand messages a second. The current dispatch rate is zero because we're not actually consuming these messages anywhere. There's no consumer. What's interesting is if you scroll down, you'll see that the message backlog is zero. So even though we're producing messages, we actually don't have any backlog anywhere because we have no consumers. In Pulsar, by default, if you don't set any policies uh, for message retention, which we'll talk about a little bit later, these messages are actually already eligible for deletion from the system because there's no subscription holding them in place. And then once they're consumed out of a subscription, there would be no message retention, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So let's leave the producer running, but let's start another terminal window and start up a consumer and watch how some of these dispatch rate statistics and message backlog statistics change. So here we have another terminal window open. I have the Pulsar Perf uh, produce running in the background, so we're producing a thousand messages a second with batching disabled. I'm gonna start executing a consume with Pulsar Perf. So I'm gonna exec back into private cloud in this terminal as well. And then the consume command is very similar. I just need to say bin pulsar perf consume now instead of produce the tenant namespace and topic. And then I'm gonna give it a subscription name. So we're creating a subscription at this point by starting up a consumer. That's so that if you stop the consumer, it starts up basically where it left off and consumes the backlog that was created while the consumer was down. So let me run both the producer and the consumer just a little while, and then we'll head back over to Grafana to take a look at what the dashboards are showing. So here we've been consuming messages at 1,000 messages a second. Heading on over to Grafana, we'll see that we have a publish rate of 1,000 messages a second, a dispatch rate of 1,000 messages per second. This needs to be updated here, but this is 1,000 messages a second. And we had a small backlog that forms, but it actually stays very low. So what this essentially is the latency, or that there's a slight delay between when messages get published and when they get consumed. They're almost immediately consumed. Next, let's take a look at what happens when we turn off the consumer. So now that we have a consumer with a subscription, we turn off the consumer, that subscription stays in place. So here I'm going to go ahead and stop the consumer, but that subscription is still in place. So let's let run a few minutes and then we'll head back to Grafana again. In the Grafana dashboards, we're still publishing a rate at a thousand messages a second. We're no longer dispatching because the consumer has been turned off, but because we did create the subscription, that stays in place until you delete it, which means the message backlog is continuing to grow. Now, once we start up the consumer, we should see this backlog come back down to zero and the dispatch rate should spike to a very high level temporarily while the consumer catches up on its subscription. Let's go ahead and do that. Here I'm going to start back up my consumer. We can see that the consumption rate is very high. It's not a thousand messages a second. It's actually consuming as fast as possible to try and catch up from that backlog. Once it catches up, this will go back down to the same rate that we're publishing because we're basically publishing and consuming almost immediately. So you can see it's already starting to come down. We'll let that get back down to about where it should be at a thousand messages a second once it's caught up. And then we'll head back over to the Grafana dashboards to take a look at how the dispatch rate spiked and how the backlog has gone back down to nearly zero. And here back in the dashboards, we can see that we've consistently published messages at a thousand messages a second. The dispatch rate spiked to catch up from the backlog when we turned the consumer back on, and then it dropped down to the expected 1,000 messages a second. The backlog had been increasing steadily while the consumer was turned off. So of course we created the subscription here, then turned off the consumer, the backlog grew, and then when we turned the consumer back on, it consumed all of the messages quickly, and the backlog has gone back down to a very low level.
Now, why, since we've made a subscription in place here, the messages that were in the backlog were not eligible for deletion using the default settings. We'll be talking about that a little bit later, how you can make messages eligible for deletion even though they're in a backlog. But once this backlog, those are consumed, the messages that have now been consumed and are no longer in any subscription, by default, the, those messages are now eligible for deletion because they've been consumed by all consumers with subscriptions.